What's up guys? So we're going to be towing this GMC terrain today. It's uh, suffering a similar problem that a lot of the GM vehicles are having right now. It seems like the fuel pump module has failed on it. it died right here in the middle of the road. You see if these... Some of these have a shift lock release down there. Because what it'll do is it'll hear it turning. Sometimes it'll kind of see it starts sputtering and then just dies. I see the that is classic symptoms of the fuel pump module failure. Traffic coming. I'm gonna lay my bed down here and just dies going down the middle of the road and ends up where it ends up. In this case, right here in front of somebody's driveway and everything. You get this thing hooked up. Some of these have a shift lock release right there on the driver's side of the passenger compartment. I've also found that some just don't have, they have the spot for them, but they don't actually have the shift lock release. So I'm going to grab my trim tool in a minute. And we're going to see if this one is so equipped. If not, as is par with all the rest of the GM vehicles. These newer ones without a shift lock release, you gotta drag it. So I'm going to grab my little trim tool here. I'm gonna pop this little trim off while we don't have any traffic coming. It's supposed to be this little panel right here. And there's nothing back there. So normally, it's supposed to be a shift lock release there. That's nothing more than a little access panel for where it normally is, or used to be. So now, we will come over to the traffic side of the truck or the non-traffic side of the truck here and my bed's fully extended so I'm gonna walk my truck back feet here. Use the bed to uh, push the skates under the tires. little bit so I can get underneath them. So now the uh, tires aren't even touching the, the bed really. Of course we are at a little bit of an angle here so it's going to kind of favor this side so I might have to snatch block it over a little bit. Push my truck forward. It's fully extended now. Just about fully loaded here. Coming up fine now. It's actually 
actually centering up pretty good now that all four tires are on the bed and we're not at such a bad angle. That's about all I'm gonna come up there. So this is a common issue for all the newer GM vehicles, or most of them, the mid-size SUVs like this, the Cadillac XT5s, I think is what they're called, which is basically the Cadillac version of this. Any of the GM or Chevrolet full-size trucks. SUVs as well, the Silverados, the GMC Sierra, the Suburban, Yukon, Tahoe, Cadillac, uh, Escalades. Not really so much the diesels, any of the diesel trucks. The uh, cars, I guess, have a different fuel pump module, so I don't tell too many of them for this problem. On the smaller little cars, the Malibus and whatnot. Uh, where's the other one? I believe I'm gonna try to straighten this wheel up a little bit here now. So my straps will not rub the paint. issue with it but smaller displacement gas vehicles are the ones that really seem to be having issues this is a 2022 GMC Terrain Driving down the road and it died and got him right there and of course in the electric shift it died right there and that's as far as it got him he couldn't can't move it running long enough to get it off the road. here with us today turn that annoying thing off all right let's head to the dealership all right so we're here at the one of the local Chevy dealerships we're going to drop this thing off here nice spot along the fence line right over here so we're gonna Slide her off right over here. That'd be pretty good. 
Right here, Stitch. something pushing in it's snowing in a lot of the country but down here in Texas it's it's like 75 80 degrees yesterday it was it stayed at 80 degrees all day we got the Sun out today so it's liable to be a lot more than that gates under it so it may want to slide off might have to WD-40 the bed we'll have to see sometimes they do sometimes they don't this wind is getting it today soapy water. I don't have any soapy water with me. I found that it's really hard to keep it stored for long periods of time like I have to. Found the uh, jugs of it. If anything you stored in, we'll start all the vibrations from driving around makes the uh, edge of the jugs wear and they crack and everything leaks out and you have a toolbox full of soapy water it makes your chains all rust up so personally I like using WD-40 better
Parking spot. Go ahead and get our hooks off of it. Finish up our paperwork. Get all of our blocks put up. Be ready for whatever comes next. Might be having to go move a cop car from our shop to the yard. For some reason we picked up a local police unit and I just put it in our yard when the mechanic shop has a drop box. 